Hello, Dance for a Change. Hi, Justin. We may be a day late with this string. I guess I had it scheduled yesterday. I didn't know. I didn't know. I was at Ready Baseball game. I couldn't stream yesterday. Hello, Netfiend! We had a great weekend. Sawyer had a big time in Branson. Lifetime memories were made. Had a great time at the water park. They had added in a wave pool. They added in a uh, big basketball court. They have two basketball courts now, right? I know what we're doing. And uh, Sawyer and I played basketball. They have these big uh, beach ball things in there to play basketball with. Oh, yeah, did you play football in the corner? Play football in the pool. We need to do that. Um, we need to take a non-nerf ball next time because all it does is soak up water and get hard to catch. Hello, Jim Cantor, Michael Erickson. We are going to open some mail. I'm uh, pre-opening here, and then we're going to let the boys open. Let me go to, and you'll notice I am doing this on your all's favorite, your favorite format. The old time format. What? The old time format for this one, because we need the space to show it all off. Oh, you need to go. And I've got to get the boys home. We got to leave at 5:45. Huh? We go to the big screen. What do you mean? You do. Oh, look at all this. Well, I got to go here. Look at all this space. Oh, lots of space, lots of space. We like that. All right. This one, whoever opens it, you have to be very careful. Okay. So if I get the doll one. All right. How's everyone doing? How is, hello, Robert Bruce. Noticed and appreciated. All right. Yes, I would change that scroll, but uh, it may uh, mess up. So uh, what we have today is lots of packages. Lots of packages. How many packages do we have? The lots of. One less than I thought we'd have. The one for today hasn't got here yet. One, two, six, three, four, six, five, we out of count, seven. and six is a jumbo pack. I might have to show that one off. What? I might have to show that one off, but we're going to do a mail call today. I've been gathering up Atmex packages. As you all know, we have a partnership with Atmex. Atmex, the world's largest supplier of uh, coins and coin supplies. And we are partnered with them. Little old Paul Spare Time is partnered with Atmex. And that's cool. Yeah, I know, Justin. Later tonight, I'll be doing the other format uh, for our hunt. I, uh, this is Triple Play Wednesday, and I don't have a donator yet. Uh, you got to remind me of this still, Brian Martin. Um, I, uh, we do a $501 bills, and we do a box of dimes, and we do a box of half dollars. If you find a star note, a silver dime, and a silver half dollar, you win a Morgan dollar or a peace dollar. We'll be doing that tonight. I think I'm going to start early, around 8 o'clock. And we don't have a donator. If we don't have a donator, I'll open for myself. But look what I got. I got a surprise for you all. Hello, Salmon. Good to see you. I have a surprise. When I went to the bank yesterday, my backup bank that's getting me $2,001 bills uh, every time, they were so excited. Because usually I get $1 bills that look like that. That are circulated, that I can search serial numbers for and stuff. 
these are uncirculated $1 bills, which is going to make the uh, serial number search probably very boring. But they were so excited, it was the first time one of the people that's worked there for 13 years had never, ever received brand new dollar bills from the Fed. Look at those beauties. Look at them. Now, it's possible there's a real fancy serial number in there. I don't know. That's 9566 something. Uh, so we'll check for that. But I've got a thousand there and I got a thousand there hello Jack Allman I've got two thousand crispy uncirculated I assume sequential serial numbers they are BEP straps so the bank was so excited they'd never even seen these before so they saved them just for me and I was going to search them, and now I can't search them, so I called Southern Metal. I'm like, hey, is there some hidden value in brand new $1 bills I don't know about? And he's like, not that I know of. So he got to Googling for me because I was out uh, going to Rhett's ball game. And come to find out on the eBay, if you get straps of uncirculated, crispy, brand new 2021 dollar bills with sequential serial numbers each strap of a hundred is selling for hundred and forty dollars up on ebay right now so if i can get hundred and forty dollars per strap forty dollars profit per strap 20 straps hudson how much profit is that eight hundred dollars profit they're 2021s at least the one i looked at's a 2021 I haven't opened them. I'm not going to open them yet. I will later when I got more time. But uh, if anyone's interested in buying a strap, I'm going to list them on eBay. I guess they're going for 140 up. I'll probably list them for 140. I got to pay shipping and eBay fees. If one of you all wanted a strap of crispy, uncirculated, consecutive serial number dollars, I'd probably sell them to any of my members for 130. If you're really interested. But I'm going to get them listed very soon on uh, eBay. And I don't know how quickly they'll sell. But I guess I'm kind of excited about it now. I guess I am. Hello, Jesse Kruckenberg. Good to see you. So, anyway. We're going to open some, a mail call. So, I don't know if Hudson's going to open a package first or Rhett's going to open a package first. And there's only one way to tell. The Wheel of Butemeyer. What do you think of that name? I like it. You like it? All right. Who? Oh, i got to have Streamlabs up to spin it. I don't think I can spin it from here. Spin? Nope. Uh, spin? Nope. I've got to open up Streamlabs. I've got to open up Streamlabs to be able to spin the wheel. Streamlabs? Hey. What is that? Log in. I'm not going to log in. Log in with YouTube. Pause spare time. Sign in to Streamlabs. Continue. This will allow Streamlabs allow. All kinds of new stuff you take a week off. Yeah. All right. Let's go. How do I do this? I created this. The wheel. Which one? Yeah, is it a widget? Is it a widget? Is it a spin the, a spin the wheel? Spin the wheel. Alright. I think that's it. I've got all the settings up. It's all up there. I've got to save the settings. How do I spin the wheel? Aha! Here we go. Who gets the first package to open? Spin that wheel. Brett gets to open the first package. So, hold on. Let me get back to that screen. Let me get back to... Do, 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 do. Let me get back to that screen. So, as you all know, we are partnered up with Atmex. And Atmex is the world's largest supplier of coins and coin supplies. And, and... 
that QR code right there will take you directly to Atmex. It's a new link. We have a new link that takes you directly to Atmex. It is listed in the description below. It is also that QR code will take you there. And if you uh, are going to buy something, which would be really awesome for us if you bought something from Atmex, if you purchase something $50 or more and use the discount code Grow the Hobby, you save $5. Yeah, that's right. $5. And you know how many people in the world have an Atmex discount code? Three. I think like three. I think like, could be five, but I think three. Including us without Including us. Including us. Do you know how many people have a better discount code with Atmex than us? None. None. So, Atmex also does uh, sponsor our uh, Grow Our Hobby when we give coins away to kids. They're one of our co-sponsors. So, uh, we appreciate Atmex. Atmex, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all you do. And we buy a lot of stuff from Atmex. Oh, boy. Do we buy a lot of stuff from Atmex? Yes, we do. Where's the screen to show that? I don't know. Right there. Right there. And there is Atmex.com. Let me go here. Ugh, let me refresh that. That's not right. Let's go down here to the Bullion Club. We are members of the Bullion Club on Atmex.com. And if I click on Club Status... And if it'll do something, hmm. there it is. We are VIP members in the Atmex Bullion Club. We have spent $137,000 on 228 orders over the last going on four years with Atmex. That's a lot of money. Most of that we've given away here. That's the Atmex homepage. We'll look more at that here in a while. But right now, right now, right now, what's going to happen right now? I don't know what's going to happen yeah, right now. Rhett search cam. Got to get that off the screen. Rhett, come pick a package. Oh, it's just Which like, package do you want? That's a big boy. You can get a small microscope on Amazon.com for as low as like $30, Robert. Or you can spend a couple high hundred. Depends what you want you want. Go over there, lift your camera up. Ready is going to open our first package from Atmex. You're going to hand me the green sheet on the inside. Probably going to have to go up higher. But, uh, uh, my camera's going to Alright, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, let's see. That is a lot of money. Grant, we are dropping off. We are taking Ooh. coins to your house, I think. G give me the green sheet on the inside. Or white sheet this time. Let's see what we got ready. Robert Bruce asked, oh, any... uh, I answered it. Hammered and silver. Tombstone. Hold it up there higher so they can see it. Get your light on it. Hammered silver, one ounce round. What's the back of that look like? What does it mean by tombstone? It focus. All right, Scottsdale Mint, one ounce, silver round. I need to open that for you. Just quick. Only two things in that box. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. buddy, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. Um, Here you go. Okay. Hello, Silent Silver Stacker. Good to see you. Hello, Michael Wells. Good to see you. Ready? Get it on the screen there. We're showing our latest uh, order from Atmax. Red is showing off now. He showed... Hey, I ordered two of those uh, tombstone rounds. Were there two of them? Yeah. Okay. Canadian. 50 cents, 2022. Is that, oh, that's cool. Like, hold it up in the... Yeah, let us see what it is, too. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could see it, but... Oh, sorry. 
focus. Stupid. There, there you go. This is the 2022 Canadian 50 cent lenticular Santa's sleigh. And if you tilt it at a different angle, it looks like you guys moving. I will try to put it under my scope. To get my scope set up here and to give me one of that tombstone things too and I'll put it under my scope as well ready show them off a little better maybe wrong way wrong way Clyde it's called Clyde yeah there's a movie with Clint Eastwood any which way you can any which way but loose this is the Canadian 50 cent piece 2022 Can we Santa's see it? sleigh. Can you see it? I doubt it because I don't have that up yet. Huh. Can we see it? No. Your scope's not going to be up either, so go ahead and you get it turned on. Aha! ventricular so when you move it side to side something happens I don't know what happens the elf moves I think all the packages fall out the I elf think moves. all the packages fall out why am I getting so much light ah uh, that Uh, the elf does move. He falls down with the packages. Yeah. Anyway, that's the Canadian Venticular. Put it back in the box. And here is the Tombstone Hammered Silver. Why don't you grab one of those boxes off the floor over there and put all this stuff in the box. Hammered Silver, one ounce round. Looks like a golf ball. I'm going to call it the golf ball round. I think we'll have more interest as a golf ball. Ready? Put those back Is in the like, package. Like put it in the box. Movie or just like tombstone, tombstone? I don't know. Hello, brown sugar. All right, head. Pick a package. Um. This one, okay. That one's fine. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me get Hudson's screen up. Hudson screen is up. Yeah. Give me the envelope. The tombstone round will be going to auction, Justin. It will be going to auction. What about the fifty-six and Uh, the ventricular will probably also be going to auction. And the first thing I see on the label. Oh, ah, you got mint sets. Um, Let me to open them. No, I have my scissors. Oh, cut the end off. What would you like on your tombstone? Hmm, I hope I had nothing for quite a while. That's what I hope. Hello, perplexed mind. If you got your scissors, you shouldn't be having to force it. Push. Yeah, it is. Why don't you show the side with the writing? I'm just trying to open it. It is a 19. Oh, well, I don't know what it is. 66 special mint set. 1966 special mint set. You don't have to open it. Show off the other ones. Boy, you're nice and organized over there. Your camera's facing the right direction. Man, you're all over this. Good thing you hit better than you film. <laughs> so anyway, what Hudson has is he's got a 1965, 1966, and 1969 U.S. Mint sets. Which he's not showing off worth a darn. Raise your camera up.
All right, Paul will show everything from now on. What? That'll be better. Anyway, those will be added to the list of, let's see, auction lots that are available. We did not have 65 on there. We will now. 65 will be on there for $25. For the set, uh, 66 we did not have on there. 66 will be on there for $25. 69 we had on there at $17, and it will stay on there at $17 on our add-ons for the auction. All right, ready search cam. Here you go, ready. Here's your next one. Oh, it's heavy. Silent Silver Stacker had a cool delivery for me. I hope you used your $5 coupon. Silent Silver Stacker. What do you got, Ready? I need the green sheet. White sheet. Ready? Getting the white sheet. Hudson's getting the green sheet. I have an ancient Greek. I'm not going to try to pronounce these two words. I see that. Uh, put it so they can see it. Down. The, the label. Label. Ain't down. Ancient Greek. Ptolemaic. Ptolemaic. Cyrenaica AE unit 221 to 140 BC in VF. Woo! Let me see that. I'll put it under my scope. Where are you, that fiend? This is a little dude. This is a little dude. I'm going to have to crank my scope down, 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 I don't think it's an octopus. Hold on, flip it over. I think it's a skull. It looks like a bird. Oh, it does look like a skull. It's a Spartan. It's an owl. It's a Spartan. I think it's a Spartan. On the other side is a feller. Alien. It's a feller. It's a feller. That thing is 221 BC. Dang. 221 B.C. Kind of an alien. Hello, Teach. I have some more stuff. All right. This one is Roman Empire, House of Constantine, A.D. 3 Numus, Julian II, A.D. 360. Oh, is he standing tall or what? Ooh. Coming to an auction near you soon. Hmm. I don't know what that says. Eton neon neon neon. You have it upside down. That one is graded XF. Oh, that's more stuff. There you go. All right, Red's got some more stuff back to Red's screen. Correct search screen right there. It does look a little like a bullet. Only an emperor for three years. Ah. It's a good It's a good one. What do you got there, Rhett? I'm going to take the no. package. I don't think I do. Yeah, maybe I do. you got gloves on. This is a chunk of silver, 100 grams, 100 grams of silver. Dang. 100 grams. So how many ounces is that? How many ounces is a 100 grams? Some that weren't even one year. Tough being Pharaoh or Caesar. What's the back say? Nothing. 
So that is 100 gram cast poured silver bar. 3.5 ounces. 3.5 ounces. No, it can't be that much. Yes, it is. I looked it up. How many Troy ounces? I'll look at that. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. We got three of those. Uh, it's possible one of those could end up being on. Uh, yeah, it might be three and a half 3 ounces. 3.2. 3.2 Troy ounces. Thank you, Silent Silver Stacker. Yeah, put it back in the package. I don't know anything about ancients. I just follow on that fiend's bitch. <laughs> Silver Stacker, thank you. 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 Thank Michael, Big envelope. Michael Erickson asked what you've been fishing for. Bass, crappie, uh, catfish. catfish. I I I didn't even tell the boys about it. What? I uh, posted a poll asking how people would feel about a pause spare time fishing, fishing channel. Whoa! Yes, it's an uncut sheet. It is an uncut sheet of 2017. One dollar bills. Can you show them sideways so maybe they'll all fit on your screen? Five one dollar bills in an uncut sheet. Also with like a whole uh, a little uh, souvenir pack to go with it. Yep. Tells about the one dollar bill, what everything means. Yep. And George. Alright, you're back up? Yeah, I'm just... Hold on, I gotta try to... Close ready thing. It's kind of hard to close it. I tried. Well, if you paid attention to how you opened it. Look, I didn't open it. You did. Oh. That could be the problem right there. Hmm. second time as it did the first. But put it over there in your envelope. I'll get her fixed later. Okay. Uh, do you have the sheet on that one? Uh, no, I do not. Didn't come? Didn't have a price sheet in there with it? I'll get the package back out to look, but I didn't see anything on it. Alright, now we're going back over to Rhett's search cam. Yeah, there's no price sheet, Paul. Okay. Table first, it needs a little slice. You got a, a price sheet for me? Green this time for you. You must open the wrong package. All right, get it on the screen, bud. Yeah, at least he got a fresh All right, what Rhett's got is this was a Bullion Club VIP. Is your VIP in Bullion Club? You have in, you get some special offers, and I got a special offer on this Coca Cola thing. Let me open it for you so we don't break the box. Yeah. I tried that. They packed that tight. Oh, I know what these are. I know what these are. Can you get that open? Yes. yes. What's it say on the back of the Coke thing? Show the back of the Coke thing. No, the paper. Six gram, point nine nine three, blue eyes, silver, Coca Cola, bottle cap coin. Coin. Is there anything else at the bottom? It's Spanish, I think. Oh, Spanish to me, alright. No serial number? Uh, serial number. I don't think it has a serial number, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, 
All right, let me put it under the scope, buddy. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. It is a coin. It is. It is the Republic of Neoway, one dollar, and you can reseal your Coke bottle as well. Atula Neoway Tugalagi, 2023, Coca-Cola Company. A real bottle cap, and it is silver. It's six grams of silver. I think the pack just said I wish they made a one ounce version. Yeah, with the Coca Cola Premium on them, it would have been quite pricey. All right, did you put the piece of paper back in there? Yes, I did. What else you got? Um, My sheet of paper says you've also got. Oh, I've got the, this has the uh, price sheet for that uncut sheet, huh? Are these all different? They're all the same. Uh, they're random, yes. One half ounce silver coins. These are for our skunk prizes. Okay, so first we have the hammer. Buddy, Great. you need to get away from the camera. Farther down from the camera. Farther down. Oh, there you go. Hammerhead Shark, half ounce. What's the reverse of that one look like? Coin Elizabeth. So it's a coin, a half dollar coin. That's the first one. It's supposed to be random. That's okay. true, Silas Silverstacker. How many are there? Is it Ten. Hammerhead Shark. No, they may all be Hammerhead Shark. Yeah, I think, well, I'm just going to go. A lot of stuff you order with that but it's supposed to be random isn't real random. But yep. uh, okay, so we got ten of those. So put those back in the uh, package it came out of. And uh, where's the shipping package it came out of? Uh, Is this the one you threw away over here? Maybe. All right, Hudson with the last Atmex package for now. What you got, Hud? An envelope. Oh, there's, there's uh, no price sheet. No price sheet? Huh, interesting. Okay, well, this will be a surprise. Let's start off, there are two. Uh, Looks like King Charles. If you're selling rounds 2024, and it's a good day at the, come on, the good sides. Oh, I can flip it over, I think. Right, I'm just cut this one open so we can look at it. Just looks like the good side is the side that's blocked. Looks like it's high. I ordered these a long time ago. This is the Pi Silver Round, 3.12, this is 3.14 dollars, center it hud, come on, 3.1492653, now they can see it, I know. and it's got the continuing infinity of the numbers going round and round, it is three point one four dollars. Show me the other side, Ed. Twenty twenty four one ounce Solomon Islands, three point one four dollars, Hud. What do you think of that one? It's like the coolest one I've seen so far. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Who likes pie? I love pie. Yeah, that kind of pie. Is that already in a? Is it in a protector? Yeah. Okay, we got two of those. Coming to an auction soon oh. near you. Well, I ordered like those forever ago. Like by on Friday? I pre-ordered them. Yeah. yeah. Alright. I'm guessing these are some type of dollar bills. I don't know. Do I need to cut it? No. Oh. Find your price sheet. Found my price sheet. It was hiding. Oh. 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 Yeah, you're going to like these. One billion dollars? I wish. 
Well, if you decide to show the wrong one first, it is. Show the other one first. A million dollars? One million dollars. A one million dollar bill. What? This will be our last stream. We have recently come into some money. One million dollars from Fort Bull, 2008 Zimbabwe, one million dollars. Hello, Armando. Oh, good to see you. Asked if we're selling in the NWA coin show. If I, oh, uh, you know, we should have. When is it, Armando? I always forget about that one. One million dollars, the Federal Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. So how much does that translate to in American money? Uh, like three cents. Oh. But it's uh, they've been pulled from circulation, so actually nothing. Now show the other one. That one said I'm a Nigerian prince. That's my father's. That's who we got it from. One billion dollars. One billion dollars. So is that four cents? One billion dollars. No, a billion dollars is a thousand million. Twelve, Twelve cents. I'd have to look them up again. I saw these and I thought... You know what? We still can't even buy an NFL team yet. What a novelty we have. We have $1.1 billion of Zimbabwe well, on, currency. Serial numbers. You're going to show the reverse We got a trinary! A6600. Zero, zero, one, one, one. It's an Alcoholics Anonymous trinary billion dollar note. I guarantee you, you don't have one of those, JC Likes Pam. I bet you don't have one of these. Show it to JC Likes Pam again. The one billion. Are there one billion? Yes. One. Oh, one. oh, Hudson gets his billions and his millions confused. Those That's nine, nine zeros. Did, does that have a reverse to it? Or are you just showing the one side? Oh, it does! It's got a back! Oh, it's an elephant. It is an elephant. The one billion dollar. Hey, give me that because. Your cameras, we're going to throw your camera away. Really? Yep, you won't be streaming anymore in on stream. I don't know what's wrong with that, buddy. All right, let's we'll start with this one. One million dollars. What was the serial number? Oh, that's the one that's the trinary. One million dollar note. Yeah, the trinary. Do we have a bid? Do, oh, that's not an elephant. That's like some kind of bull thing. No, it was the other one. It was the other side. I know. That's a Cape Buffalo or something. I don't know. And then there's something else. That is $1 million in Zimbabwe money. We uh, will be taking the show on the road to Zimbabwe. A22170079. Darn. Not a trinary. On the $1 billion note. That's an elephant. And that's a something. All right. That's cool. I seem to have to watch air. Huh? I could go. I seem to have to watch ads every five minutes. I don't. If. Uh, if it turned ads on, I didn't do it. And ads are on. It's an automator. Sorry about the ads. That's an accident. Well, I found out how much the one hundred trillion dollar one was worth, and it's only forty cents. So I'm yeah, guessing. Yeah, they do have ones that are more than this, but uh, they're pricey, little buggers. All right, those coming to an auction soon. It's one of the largest. Near it, it's you. one of the largest notes ever made. One yep. billion dollar one is. Historical value, a very, very collectible. They stopped releasing after the second. Congo it's War. like a uh, law that you have to have one in your collection. And you need to buy it from Paul's spare time. That's what it says. Hey, let me also give you an option, though. Yes, I will be auctioning some of that off. Definitely. And this is probably dumb of me to do. Uh-oh. But I've done dumb things before. So let me show you something you can do. Atmex.com. Atmex.com. You can go to atmex.com using our uh, QR code, which I'll show again here in a minute. 
You can go to Atmex.com. You can go to search. You can put in Zimbabwe. There we go. Zimbabwe, $50 trillion rock formation, <laughs> dam and elephant, uncirculated. You can go buy a $50 trillion bill. Boy, that makes me feel poor with our billion and our million now. Did you get it? Uh, they are $59.99 each. Like I said, these are mega collectible and uncirculated. Let's see. They stopped using currency in 2019. And uh, these are no longer uh, legal tender. Uh, but 50 you can go to Atmex.com. Did you exchange them to like the no, US? No, no, no value. Fifty trillion dollar bill. Fifty trillion, fifty nine ninety nine. But if you use the Grow the Hobby discount, it's if you were to go and put one of these in your cart like that, hit the Add to Cart. Okay. I've got it in my cart. Check out now. And now I need to go over here and I want to go to my cart. I click on the cart. I come over here. This is my show your and it story. says apply a coupon. I click on apply a coupon. I type in grow the hobby. And I spell it right. Grow the hobby. And I submit the coupon. And for me, it's an invalid promo code because I can't use it. But for you, yeah, I can't use it. But you can grow the hobby and you will save $5 on your order. So I'm going to delete that from my card because I don't want a $50 trillion what? note right now. It is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. But... That's what you do. You go over to Atmex.com. You go over to Atmex.com. And you check it out. And you can see they've got 2024 Silver Eagles on sale. They've got Gold Bars on sale. They've got Cast Silver Bars on sale. You've got Germania series on sale oh colorized treasures let's look at these oh they came out they came out the texas one it's like utah so oh texas oh i have these on my someone's shelf. probably interested in texas no these are the new ones this is the texas colorized and the texas has sulfur in it the texas look that is pretty or kansas it's Discard. on pre-sale look at or kansas that one came out like a lot a long time ago yeah. But you could save $5 if you want to buy Texas. You also don't have to buy the colorized ones. They have the just silver ones. I think they're out of stock. Hey, yeah, these go out of stock pretty quick. You going to get any of these? There's Utah. What do they have, Topaz? Topaz for Utah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got an ad about these. And ones. they have Vermont. Marble? Marble for Vermont. That one's cool. Want to power. All of these, you can use the pause spare time discount Jim code. Thompson said pot doesn't work for me anymore. It does. You, you only got to use it once? All right. I will find out about that, Jim, because that's uh, not supposed to be the deal. You're supposed to be able to use that in perpetuity, grow the hobby, not just one time. Hmm. I need to check on that. Because that was not how it was explained to me. Yeah, you gotta check out Utah. I'll yeah, go they back. have diamonds for Arkansas Grant. We have some here. I have one right here. Uh, Utah, the Utah silver one was out a while ago. Utah, there it is. Nope, that's not it. 
That's another Utah corn. Give us the one to the left. Utah, there it is. Is that it? Left. That's the colorized one. Oh yeah, that one. The non-colorized are $89.99. The colorized one's $99.99. Oop, get off there. Clicked on the wrong thing, Hood. Yeah. I think I like the colorized one better. Gotta How much say. is the colorized one? Only ten dollars more. Oh, yeah, Only definitely. Only ten dollars more. I am not going to purchase these for auction, so if you want one, use your discount code. I'll find out why it's only working once. That's not the way I understood it, but I'll find out. I'll find out. That's pretty cool. Atmex always has cool stuff. Look at their best sellers. Oh, it also tells us silver's over $28 today, $28.07. Gold's at $23.47. Here's their best sellers. 2024 one ounce American Silver Eagle, $34.56. Oh, Bell said I got my $2 bills. Who did? Oh, Bell? Cool. Um, you can go over here, you can look at rare coins. Rare coins. Silver dollars, uh, trade dollars. Let's look at trade dollars. We don't have a trade dollar. And now I know why. They're expensive. Let's see. Low to high. There is a coal AG trade dollar. Random year from 1873 to 1878, $159 for a trade dollar. Now, if you're like Paul, I'm not an, a uh, coal kind of person. All right, that's fine. How about an AU trade dollar? 1878S. I want better. better. $400 for an AU cleaned. Get it. Cleaned. If you're like Paul, I'm not a clean kind of guy. Give me something that's not clean, Paul. Okay. Y'all are making this difficult. How about a graded? AU-55, AU-55, oh. 1875 trade dollar, she's beautiful, she's $649, if you like Paul, I, I'm, I'm more pricey, I now. am a BU guy, and uh, throw me a uh, CC mint mark while you're at it, alright, there you go, 1874, there's the CC, Right there, three thousand two hundred and ninety-five dollars. Oh my! PCGS MS sixty-one. <laughs> now the issue is how many can you buy? I bet they don't have very many of these. Let's put eleven in. Uh, they only have one, so you all are going to have to race out there to get that because there's only one remaining. Uh. Hold on, I want to see the most expensive one on here. The most expensive one on here. Okay. All right, Hud. If you got to have the most expensive. PCGS MS66. Oh, my gosh. Toned. Toned. It's toned. $64,995. You have to drive me a 17 while you're at it. Wait, see how much you can order. Seventeen ninety three half cent. Let me see if I can. Michael find Wells says, "Do you know how many cheap Morgans I can get with that amount of money?" Uh, all of them. Not all right. Them. What do we want? A, a half, half cent. Half cent. Seventeen ninety three half cent. Seventeen ninety three half oh, cent. Oh, I see it. Thirty four thousand dollars, Paul, at the very top. Seventeen ninety three. Yeah, AU fifty. All right. There you go. How many, no, see how many it'll let you 1793 do. PCGS half cent. See how many it'll let you put in, Paul. 1793 half cent. There it Jenkins is. said, Paul doesn't want, doesn't want much. Just the BUCC trade dollar. They have one of those in stock. 
So only one net fiend. You might want to jump and on that. Silver Stacker says you get me that for my birthday next week, next month. Hudson. <laughs> what I usually do, I search oh, okay. from low to high, and you can get a uh, coal half cent, eighteen oh four for seventy bucks. I've given these away that before. That only thirty five thousand men. Oh wow! Let's see if that is the most expensive coin on here. Nope, nope, it's not. Uh, it's not. What? Uh. We've got, without a picture, uh. without a picture, this one's not going to be a lot of fun to look at. It's almost $100,000. Oh. oh, we do have a picture. Top Pop. See how many you can get. There you go, Netfiend. Top Pop, seventeen ninety four. It's an air coin, too. It's an air coin, too. Liberty Cap Half Cent, MS-63. See the large edge letters. See how many you can get, Paul. Large, uh, yeah, there's going to be one. Uh, it's top pop. It's one of one. Netflix. It's one oh, of Netflix. one. Who wants one of one? No. See, now, yeah, we'll try, but I'm guessing they have only one of those. But for $100,000, that can be yours. But here's I what I like it. about Atmex. Yes, I can, I can't, but somebody could buy a $100,000 coin if they really wanted to. But I can also come over here for a reasonable amount in fine condition. I could buy a $130 half set. <laughs> and that one looks pretty good to me. Every bit as good as the $100,000 one, quite -uh. right, honestly, for my collection. The one of one pop? So, Atmex, you, what else you want to see? Tell me. Somebody give me something to look up on Atmex. 1913 v -Nickel. Somebody tell me. What do you want to see on Atmex? 1913 nickel. You got the already used also. I, I will send an email immediately after this and find out what the deal is, Jim, because that was not how I understood it. Who wants to see something? A 20 cent coin? I can do that. I can Those aren't, those aren't as do that. Uh oh. Did I close that? Show us gold! I closed it. Hold on. I gotta get back into Atmex. Grant said, I wonder what the most expensive coin on Atmex is, and I wonder Rare how they'll coins. ship it. Grant's got a point. It'd be insured 20 cents. 20 cent coins. Alright, here is a average circulation 20 cent piece. Which is what I have. 1875 to 1878. Mine is clean details. $150. Yours is a G, isn't it? G details. But mine clean. looks better than that. Let's see. Oh, here you go. How about an AU 20 cent piece? Eh, I want better. $700. That's cheap. Oh, Jim Thomas said $20 gold Carson City. Wait, let's just see what the most expensive 20 cent coin is. $20 gold piece Carson City. $20 double eagle? Would that be a double eagle? Yeah. Let me see if they've got the... Two million? Pretty crazy. Uh, it's it's they don't have it sorted Jim by... Jim Cantor says 1793 flowing hair half dollar. Here's the... Uh, let's go low to high. Well, let's go high to low. Let's pretend like we got a billion dollars. Oh, we pretty much need that. There's an O. There's a CC. There you go. 1884 Carson City PCGS MS63, the Fairmont Collection, $84,000. Okay, uh, 1793 flowing hair half dollar. 1793 flowing hair half dollar? Yeah. Half dollar. I'm pretty sure it's like the first ever half dollar. 1793. Uh, it's not even on here. It only goes to 1794. <laughs> Are we sure there was a 1793? Uh, and they're only in stock through 1806. 1806 is their oldest flowing hair right now. Let's go high to low. See you, Grant. Oh! All right, here we go. 1795 MS62 Overson 116. Hundred and five thousand dollars. How did I just fall? That's pretty cool. 
So you can go to rare coins, but also what you can do if you want to get a decent price on something, go to a half dollar. Go to a half dollar. Go over here to a Benji. Go over here to a Benji. You want a BU random date Benji? Now that's not bad. 17 bucks for a BU random date Benji. I know what I'm sitting in my Easter money on. You name it, you can get it at AppMax. They got it. And since my discount code might not be working, make sure you use my QR code at least to go by there and I'll find out about the discount code. I'll just have to find out about the discount code. I'm not sure. Sorry, sorry, it says 1943 steel set. A 1943 steel set. All right, we'll do one more. Oh, Michael Wells said the highest coin is $111,000 on AppMix. Wow. What? I don't know. Rare coins. We go to cents. We go to Lincoln Wheat Cents. We go to 1943. We go to 1943. Price high to low. They don't even have it on here. What do you mean? I thought we were looking up like the copper version of the 1943. 1943 D steel cent. Yeah, look up the copper. We found ones that nice in mom and pop boxes. 1943 D steel cent, seven thousand sixty-three hundred dollars for a sixty-eight plus. Maybe not that nice. That's pretty nice. Eh, I saw one scratch on the entire coin. I don't know if they're gonna have a 1943. Oh well, they're worth like forty thousand dollars, so they must not be on. On here or not? I guess not right now. But maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. What's silver at? Twenty-eight dollars. I said that just a little while ago. Uh, My Benji book is full. Mine too. But they're not all be you. I can tell you that. Might have taken a tumble off. All right, there. Jim. All right. Well, you got to see all the goodies we got from Atmex. We didn't pay a thousand dollars for any of them. We did pay a hundred dollars for a few, but uh, not a thousand. Great thing about Atmex is if you need something, they got it. Their prices are fair. If you've never used my discount code, I know you can use it for saving $5. I'm going to find out why it was a single-use discount code, and I will let you all know tonight when I stream. I'm going to do the triple play. We don't have a donator right now for tonight's stream. I think I'll start at 8. And I'm going to do uh, $501 bills, $250 of dimes, $500 a half dollars. Looking for star note, looking for silver dimes, looking for silver half dollars and the other goodies. If we don't have a donator, I may just do a thousand ones. We'll see. I don't know. Ready? Thanks for being here. HUD, thanks for being here. I got to get you guys home. Only about 10 know to exist and they don't have one right now, I guess. So the stuff you saw from us, most of it will be uh, coming up on auction to you. So, $1 for everything you receive. That's nice of you, teacher. It's good to have a starting bid because there's times I haven't had a starting bid. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, these Some of these may be on Saturday's auction. You never know. Probably one of those hammered uh, rounds for sure. That Coca-Cola item. Maybe a billion dollar bill. Hmm, I wonder if I could redeem that billion dollar Zimbabwe bill for one of those hundred thousand dollar coins. That seems like a fair trade to me, guys. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, all right. The triple plate is $75, NetFiend. If you don't find a star note, you get a half ounce of silver. If you don't find a silver dime, you get a half ounce of silver. If you don't find a silver half dollar, you get a half ounce of silver. So you, you could get an ounce and a half of silver if you get totally skunked, and you're going to keep all your fines. So uh, uh, if you want in, you can uh, send it to uh, PayPal or Cash App. If you don't want in, I'm going to stream tonight anyway because I haven't live streamed in forever. I'll be your for this. Says so uh, all right, NetFiend is our donator tonight. I better write that down or I will forget. That means i got to search all three of them. Be a long stream tonight, three hour stream. We'll have some fun. NetFiend is the donator. We will be looking for goodies like this. Like this. You that found beautiful, that? Beautiful, beautiful binary note. 3339399. Three, three, nine, three, nine, nine, three. 
I've got two of them now. I've got two of them now. You need to get a, you, what's it called? Like, a, what, what are they called? Like, only like one number? A solid. Need? A solid would be a good find. Are those find. like upper range of like $100? All right, I will see you all tonight at 8 when I'm live streaming because that's when I, but not Hudson or Red, are going to have more spare time. Have a good afternoon, all. See you later.